Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm so so today. I, I'd like to so first of all, thank you for for coming uh, or joining this 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 presentation. Um, and today I I prepared um, a little. Um, so today I prepared um, sort of like a little investigation about. Um, uh, unique property of, of unique unique pointer, um, which is which is called uh, which is related to this to this term empty base class optimization, um, and then it will lead us to uh, to to very plus twenty attribute that we, that we'll have uh, in this new standard, and also this will be, this this will be also a, a good. Um, Good way to discuss uh, modern C++ attributes uh, in general. Um, so we'll we'll see how it how it goes. And um, so, uh, unfortunately, I need to use this uh, use. Uh, I, I need to. I, I prepared several slides, but on but not on PowerPoints. Uh, but here I have on PDF reader. So it's it's a bit strange. Um, so for those of you who, who don't who, who don't know me, I'm I'm Bartek. I'm um, I, so I'm I'm a regular blogger at, at this at, at Philippe.com, and we are slowly moving to to new website uh, cppstories.com, which hopefully has has a bit better name and better 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 domain. And right right now the the plan is to to sort of create a mirror for uh, for my previous blog, and then start adding new content and and, and slowly sunset uh, my 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 sort of um, pre my, my my previous domain, um, uh, and also um, so as as my day job, I'm I'm software developer for for Zara. Um, and uh, I highly recommend uh, if you if you want if you want to check out um, at, at zara.com uh, because we, we build a powerful online um, document editor. So if you want to, to, to create various kinds of um, presentations or, or simple uh, I don't know Instagram uh, text or, or something like that or, or, or simple uh, simple graphics then then it's it's quite quite cool editor so so if you want uh, please check check it out uh, and backend is is of course written in in C++ <laughs> so that's uh, so that's quite uh, interesting technology overall okay okay so arrows doesn't work but not reliably. Okay, so the plan for this presentation is to 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 to, to create a, a little background about unique pointer and and about its its properties related to custom uh, deleters. Then we will dig into STL implementation a, 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 lit, a little bit so so that we can understand what what's what's going on underneath. And um, and then we'll see what's uh, what's empty base class optimization. Um, and then, as I mentioned, this will lead us to no unique address, the new attribute from, from C++20. Uh, and also we will discuss other C++20 attributes and, and also um, attributes in, in, in general. Um, so, uh, okay, so let's, let's try to to, 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 to set some, uh, some background. And um, so actually, in, in terms of how this sort of presentation idea came out is, is that um, some time ago, um, back in 2016, I, I, I wrote an article about custom deleters for, uh, for smart pointers. Um, I can even show it briefly. Um, and inside, um, inside this, so, so inside this article, um, basically, I, I, I wrote about um, custom deleters for unique pointers and for shared pointers. So, so basically, if you have, uh, if you want to wrap uh, some resources that requires that that, that require non-standard um, deletion. Uh, so, for example, you want to wrap 
let's say file pointer, right? So instead of deleting file pointer, you want actually to call f close or, or something like that. Uh, or maybe you have some uh, some custom requirements that you want to call uh, before before the the, the, the shared pointer uh, or resource resource is deallocated. Then you can write custom deleters, um, and then it will be called um, automatically by the uh, by by shared pointer or unique pointer. Um, and it was very interesting to see that, that for example, uh, yes, so for example, if we have a, if we have unique pointer, and so this is, uh, this is its, its definition, this declaration, uh, that we have uh, templates of class T. So this is our resource. Usually that's, that's let's say a, a pointer, right? Uh, to, to some memory and then um, we have deleter and by default, this is a default deleting deleter, uh, which just calls delete on, 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 on a pointer, right? So that's, that's uh, the default behavior, but you can, you can actually change that um, if you want and, and uh, add, add your own code that will be called when the, when the pointer um, is about to be, uh, to be removed. Um, and so question to you and let's we can we can also try how it goes because we have chat window so have you ever used um, used custom deleter for shared pointer or unique pointer maybe you can write this on on, on chat in this article that uh, you can provide this this deleter in in several forms right so it can be std function function pointer stateless function stateful functor or or lambda and we can have uh, we can have um, lambda as uh, as as, um, as stateless or uh, or stateful lambda so that's that's also possible uh, but there was this interesting uh, property that uh, if we if we sort of consider the, the the size of the unique pointer right so so usually it should be um, let's say pointer to t so that will be let's say four bytes or, or eight bytes on on 64 bit machine and then since we want to store deleter then it should be another let's say pointer that will point to the, to this to this deleter object so it should be so unique pointer should, should have let's say 16 bytes or, or, or eight bytes. Uh, but in fact, it, it's not. And, and for example, here I have a, a, a basic test <clears throat> where we have, uh, um, let's say legacy list. Um, so this is, let's say a str structure that, that, that represents some, let's say old um, STL-ish implementation of, of list. Uh, and this particular implementation, this old implementation, requires to call release elements before this this whole list goes out of uh, goes out of scope. Uh, so, for example, um, so and and I want to ra wrap this this legacy list into uh, into a in, into unique pointer, right? So I can I can use it uh, without worrying about uh, about uh, releasing memory. Um, and, 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 uh, and sort of releasing the whole resource. Uh, so for example, I, I have this legacy list deleter functor uh, that has call operator uh, defined, which takes pointer and then calls this special special method that I, that I special member function that I require. So it, this, this calls release elements and then deletes the, the pointer. And then I also have uh, another another method that that I can uh, use for for custom deleter. So this is uh, uh, call uh, release element fun function. So this is just a, a regular function, and it also takes a pointer and then um, calls release and then uh, de deletes the pointer. I'm I'm not doing any 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 pointer checks, so uh, this is not very very safe and not very uh, production ready code. Um, okay, and and then uh, I have I have two uh, two 
pointer uh, aliases, let's say. So the, the 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 first one is legacy list pointer. So it's so it's a unique pointer with this uh, legacy list deleter functor, right? So so it's it's so I specified that uh, this this actually takes this this deleter and then um, and then uses this deleter to uh, to, 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 to properly release those, those elements. Um, and then uh, I also specify another unique pointer, okay. uh, another uh, po pointer uh, declaration, right, that, that uses this, uh, that uses um, uh, this, this function, function pointer, right, to, to, to my, uh, to my um, calc release fun function. <clears throat> And then the the question is, what's the size of uh, of of those pointers, right? So so here I I have uh, basic uh, printouts that that uh, that 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 sh that's call that uh, calls just size of, of of this, and if if we take um, just the size of the pointer, so it's it's eight bytes, so it's it's probably sixty four bit machine. Then if we have a uh, if we have unique pointer. To integer, so it's so it calls so so it uses default default deleter, and we, in, in a very so just a basic form of that. Uh, then we have um, size of so eight bytes, so it's the same as as uh, size of the pointer, uh, and then uh, the same goes for uh, stateless deleter, right? So if we have this this one stateless deleter, and then uh, if we have um, unique pointer specified in terms of uh, and, and deleter specified in terms of this function pointer, then we suddenly have uh, 16, uh, 16 um, bytes, right? So it's so it's more more than than this regular uh, than than the stateless functor or or default deleter. Um, so back in in 2016, where I where, where I published this this article. And so I, I, I sort of got this as a uh, okay, this is this is a property of unique pointer, and 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 and, and that's fine, right? And I didn't I didn't um, spend a lot of time um, sort of trying to answer why w what's actually causing that 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 difference. Um, but then, okay, and then. Um, and 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 then so yeah so I uh, so continuing my my um, sentence so back then I didn't sort of investigated why what was the reason behind this 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 difference uh, and then uh, so at the at the beginning of this year um, I I also gave a presentation about all of C plus plus twenty twenty features. Um, so I was lucky uh, that that it was uh, live, uh, right? So so it was in in, um, uh, in our regular meeting room, um, yeah. And and there was this this uh, uh, a new feature of C plus plus twenty called uh, a new attribute called no unique address. Uh, that um, that back then, or when I when I gave this presentation, I sort of know a little bit about, but I, but I also didn't didn't sort of spend much time on uh, on um, trying to understand all of the all of the properties of this of this new attribute. Um, and then, so I realized, okay, then maybe those two topics, so uh, this strange property of unique pointer and then this new, uh, this new um, attributes sort of converges together and, and uh, converges into, into a single idea. And, um, and that led me to this little in, in the investigation that, uh, that we can also do, uh, do right now. So for example, um, if we, um, Let's try this. So, if we want to understand what's what's going on and how this type um, behaves, we can just go to um, implementation of, of standard library and then uh, see internals of, of of this of this thing. And yeah, so actually, I have this this here, link here. And so I, I don't know if you, you are aware of this, but uh, but Microsoft um, opened 
its standard standard library implementation. And so you can just go to GitHub, Microsoft SCL, and and, and see. Um, I, I think most of this, because th there is this uh, strange structure of the, um, so there is a little, little diagram how Visual Studio uses uh, this. And so it's, it's so STL is based on VC runtime, right? And there are some Windows SDK internals. So this so STL is public, and parts of that are also public, but uh, but probably not but not Windows SDK as far as I'm as far as I understand. Uh, yes, but but this is very helpful because it also shows the the, the, the current progress of the, of the library and uh, goals and what version uh, what version of Visual Studio supports which which feature and um, so it's quite quite nice and and it's also quite good for for uh, education and you can you can look into the code. So previously, if I wanted to under so to 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 see implementation of some. Um, library type. I, I needed to open Visual Studio and, and to code. And right now, it's it's also possible uh, online um, with 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 GitHub. Um, and the same goes for for um, Clang uh, library and also for GCC. Uh, I have a link uh, somewhere later. And so also possible to 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 dig and and. Um, and and see what's 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 going on internally. Um, oh, if we go to um, to as far as I see, STL STL and include us, and then um, unique pointer is located in 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 the memory header, right? So so we can go into 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 this this one. And then it will open quite large, uh, large file, right? And and then it defines all of the all of the all of the um, strange things, right? With with some uh, hard codes to uh, and also uh, hard codes to uh, to uh, to read um, def all of those defines, right? So, not uh, not very nicely so they, they are written because so w w with this notion that uh, they, they should mangle names a little bit so that uh, there are no uh, co there are no names conflicts if you actually include uh, STL in your projects uh, but uh, as overall it doesn't look look that nice <clears throat> okay but if we find unique pointer then we can just try it and and see somewhere so this is uh, something for uh, for shared pointer and then uh, yes yeah, so here is this so um, almost at the, at the at the end of this file and there is a um, unique pointer right and we can, we can see some of the uh, some of the internals so for example here is this default ddt object uh, structure with uh, with um, oper call operator specified that, that actually calls this delete and that's all with some extra uh, extra checks. There is also a specialization specialization for uh, arrays, right? Because uh, unique pointers uh, worked uh, since beginning, I, I guess, uh, since C plus plus eleven, also with with arrays. Um, and then um, some other helpers, right? And then we have this unique pointer class. Um, as I mentioned previously, this it takes type, right? That that you want to wrap, and then this this deleter. Um, so here we can go. Uh, so try to read those, uh, those 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 details, but then if we go to uh, to uh, to this to this private section where we have members of of this unique pointer, we can see something strange, right? So usually you, you we could expect to see um, the the x right as a default deleter, some so some object that 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 uh, that will be used for for deletion, 
uh, and also a pointer, right? And pointer, uh, so at the beginning, yes, yeah, so there is this pointer, so it's this, this, um, um, this uh, pointer obtained from, from this type that, that, that you specify, uh, and then we have this deleter. Uh, but they are not stored explicitly, but actually they are they are stored uh, as as compressed uh, compressed um, pair, um, and then um, let me just quickly check. Um, okay, and and then I, I just needed to check where is this compressed pair uh, located and. If we go to, uh, to 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 this header x x memory, <clears throat> then okay. So this is this x memory. Mm. Okay, and here we have this uh, compressed compressed pair um, helper, and. Uh, here we have this strange, uh, strange uh, property that it. Um, okay, so where is? Uh, okay, so compressed pair is. Um, okay, and we have we have two two. Spe uh, let's try to. Okay, so we have we have we have several uh, specializations of compressed pair, and they they, they, they are sort of uh, let's say strange for for now, uh, because uh, uh, the, the first one, so compressed pair, and uh, maybe I shouldn't actually close that, but uh, let's go to memory. No, not this one. Uh, so let let's go a, a little. A little bit to to this unique so this unique pointer implementation, and as as you can see in 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 most of the in most of the uh, member functions, let's say, um, okay, let's let's say let's say here, mm. okay, for example, swap. Um, in in each member member function of of unique pointer, we can see that they 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 access this my pair and then takes take take the first or, or, or the second element um, so it's yes yeah, so for example get deleter they they, they call my pair get first um, if you want to um, yeah, for example call operator so arrow operator then it calls my pair and, and it calls and, and it obtains the, the this value of this from from this pair um, so so everything is is accessed through this through this object right uh, and if we go uh, to, to 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 this one uh, then we can see that we have several uh, specializations of those of that compressed uh, compressed uh, pair so we have this basic uh, basic uh, specialization where uh, both of those types are not uh, not empty so, um, so, and this compressed pair just defines two member member fields, member variables. So t one, t one, and 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 t t two. Uh, so it's a regular, let's say, pair. Like if you want to store int and int or int or double, right? So that's the and that's the, this 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 form. So it's it's sort of a. Um, of stood pair, uh, and then we also have, um, let's say, this one a compressed pair, which uh, derives from T one, and uh, stores T two as a, as a member member field. So that's quite quite interesting. Uh, so. So that's and, and here here is this 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 compression uh, compression part going on. So we have so if if your type if one of your if, if one of your types is 
uh, is, is, is empty, then this compressed pair will just store uh, the, the second the second value while not not sort of keeping this this this, this first one. Uh, if if both of your types are not empty, then then this compressed pair has has specialization specialization for uh, for two uh, two objects, uh, or the declare declares two uh, member member fields. And how can it happen? Um, and why? What, what's what's going on with with this trick? Uh, so if we go down, and then we can we can see this uh, thing called empty base class uh, optimization. And let's okay. So let's let's close it down. Um, so here we have a a, a very simple uh, application that that has uh, empty class and. Um, so I don't know the the, the, the full uh, definition of of empty class, but uh, this is a class without any any data data members, uh, non-static data data members. Mm, so yeah, yeah, okay. So 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 that's that's empty class. But if we show uh, size, if we use size of of empty. Then it's at least one byte. So that's the that's the specification for 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 that. So it's it's at least one one byte that it that, that has to be stored on on stack, let's say. Uh, but empty base class optimization uh, means that, for example, if you if you have another type empty empty which inherits from from empty class, then if you take size of of, of this. Then, then it will be still one one byte. So actually, deriving from from empty class doesn't cost you um, anything in terms of um, in terms of um, memory used to 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 store to store the object. Um, and um, so that's uh, so actually question question to to experts. Uh, is that a requirement, uh, Andrzej, Tomek, maybe, that classes should be that, about this empty base class optimization, or this is just optimization uh, that, that that was created by by compiler vendors simply? I guess that that's that's the that's a privilege, the latter, not, not right? the... yeah, exactly. So that's 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 not obligation, and but compilers decided that they could they could do that, right? So that's uh, yeah. So so that's so. C++ standard specifies that empty ob empty objects should ha at least have one byte, but there is no mention of if you derive from from such such objects with uh, such type. Yeah, so so compilers took that and and sort of uh, use use this, and and then we could use those those tricks uh, to uh, to inherit from from this from empty class, and then. Uh, save space uh, a, a little bit. Um, okay, so uh, so so now now the important part is to to connect all of those things together. So um, to make that that clear, right? So unique pointer uses this compressed pair to store uh, default default uh, to store delete deleter type and 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 the pointer so so this is not not full version of compressed pair because it can only compress the the first element right so only if the first uh, type uh, is empty then it will be it will be compressed so for example there is boost compressed pair which can um, compress uh, if if first or the second element is uh, is actually empty, uh, so that's um, so it's more flexible. But but for for this implementation, uh, they just needed the to to compress to the ability the ability to to compress the the first uh, element. So this this because only the the deleter might be might be empty. Um, yeah. So as you can see. Um, if okay, so here is this the this specialization, right? So if um, this T1 um, 
a class tt1 object uh, so t1 type is empty uh, then uh, we can inherit from from this and and only um, declare the, declare that the, the second the second uh, object the second value which will be a pointer right uh, so there there is no need there is no need to compress pointer as as well in in, in this because uh, yeah because that, that that that's the way how it how a unique pointer works mm, yeah so so by by inheriting from empty empty base class um, from your deleter uh, then there is no no need to to, to store the pointer to, to to store extra data and 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 then uh, we have this property that uh, that unique pointer with this stateless uh, stateless deleter can be just uh, eight bytes right so so this so in most cases this compressed pair will 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 sort of evaluate into into this specialization uh, that only requires to store uh, this this single this single um, uh, member member field. Uh, so, do you have any question regarding that that part? Is that clear here? Just one. I believe for the standard layout types, this this empty base optimization is granted. And. Yes, yes. So that's so that 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 sort of more 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 details. Uh, so, so I'll turn the previous question once I have the microphone. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that's uh, we could. I don't know if that's if that's defined here. Mm. No. So it's so it's so we we, we could also call and and see and um, this 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 helper trade for is empty mm, i don't know if that's plus plus um, i don't know if that's uh, if there is a trade for that or um the question is can a standard layout class be non-empty Mm -hmm. or or in general uh yeah so so i i, I meant just just the basic basic um, sort of approach and uh, and then we can go into 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 those details um and uh, where where are traits for templates uh, mm. But is this okay for empty bases? Okay, so since C plus plus eleven, it's it's required, right? In order to maintain the requirement that the pointer to standard. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. So but that's only for the standard layout type. So in general, that's only optimization. It might happen, might not mm -hmm. happen. If you have special type, it might be granted. But then your type that derives from the empty type, not the empty type itself, needs to be standard layout, and that's a lot of requirements there. So mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, in, yeah. So so in general, it's it's not for for your super large classes, right? So it's it's just. Uh, it's just for for relatively simple simple things, and um, yeah. So this is also used for um, for allocators, right? And then, uh, but we will get into into that hopefully. Uh, okay. Yes. Uh, okay. And so so uh, so now. Um, uh, so. Okay. Let's. Yeah, so, so now we can actually um, go into so so uh, uh, as you can see there is a, there is a, a, a lot of code involved uh, to to have this functionality enabled right so to 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 leverage the possibility to inherit from empty empty base class from empty empty deleter and and then uh, yeah and 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 then um, 
use this compressed pair sometimes to 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 um, to to compress those two two objects. But actually, um, so it's not quite comfortable and and also not not easy to to to, to reuse. Um, so that's why in C plus plus twenty we have this new uh, attribute um, that that is called no unique address. Um, and um, and this is this is what I mentioned that that uh, actually when I presented the the the, the, the talk on all C plus plus twenty features, um, I I I know that there there is such such a new attribute, but I didn't didn't sort of um, understood what, what what was what was going on with with and and how it how it works. So right now. It, it sort of converges. Uh, so basically, instead of instead of creating um, those complicated uh, templates, uh, sort of magic, right, and and, and complicated uh, uh, inheritance, we can we can use no unique address attribute from from C plus plus. So this is C plus plus twenty, but uh, the the attribute syntax. Uh, is from C++ 11, so it, it's accepted uh, since C++ 11. You can do right now in C++ 20, um, and this works even, I have, so here on Coliro, it's, it's GCC 9.1. 9 um, now we can sort of re rewrite this, this compressed pair into, into a very simplified form uh, of C++ 20 with, with this feature no unique address. Uh, so what it da does is is actually so translates this empty base class optimization into into sort of simplified code. And and basically, it it means that if um, if the 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 the, the t object the the the, the, the t type um, is is empty, then um, then there is it, it doesn't require unique address right so so it can uh, doesn't require you to have unique address in 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 the context of of the whole uh, of, of the of, of the parent let's say structure or, or, or type uh, so here i created a, a simple compressed pair cpp20 structure and, and applied this uh, attribute on on both uh, objects that that we, which it should store, and we can we can play with 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 this uh, with this two experiment with with several experiments. Uh, so for example, uh, this is now um, okay. So it, it's it's even um, yeah okay. So so it's compressed. So uh, having compressed pair with empty. So this is this is my empty empty struct. Uh, and integer uh, generates four four bytes, right? So this is what what we can um, expect. And then if if I have compressed pair int and int, it generates it, it requires to store eight bytes because obviously int two integers are, two integers are not empty. Uh, and then uh, if we have another combination, right? So integer is first and empty is, is, is second. And then it also yields uh, four, four bytes. Uh, and then uh, in terms of this address, uh, uh, in terms of addresses, we can see that, for example, um, if, uh, if we have integer and empty, then and, and and if we if we show addresses of those two property of those two member member fields, we can see that they they actually they are actually the same, right? So they their addresses is the same. So that's the sort of same memory location. But if we on the other hand, if we have uh, two integers, right? Then then we have then uh, and we want to show. Uh, two integers, uh, two addresses of those of those fields. Then we have uh, two uh, two unique addresses, right? They are, uh, yeah. So th this is as, as expected. They are separated by by four uh, four bytes, right? Um, yeah. So as you can see, this complicated code, <laughs> complicated uh, technique that 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 you can uh, that that you could use in since C plus plus. So even before C++ 11 and, and even before, 
now converges into into very simple simple application of of, of attribute uh, that can be yeah that that, that can be used um, in your in your types uh, but of course this is still quite uh, this is not not very I guess this is not very popular technique, so so it's not uh, so you shouldn't just apply no unique address to all of your classes, right? And 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 see some optimization. This is probably useful for library developers, uh, as as we as, as we could see. Uh, this is used for for example for those deleters, and in in most places, if you rely on on or or allocators, right? If if you rely on standard allocators, so default allocators or uh, or uh, default de deleters right then uh, usually they are defined in terms of stateless functors uh, and that's why we we can leverage this this um, this optimization and don't store uh, any 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 um, any memory for them um, and also this is actually quite important to to realize that while we don't store objects of those of those types uh, we have access to to all of the all of the member functions that they that they define right so for example in this if we have this um, uh, so this is uh, memory right so if we uh, yeah so if we go to unique pointer uh, Unitaration, right? Then we have this default DDT object, uh, and while it doesn't doesn't store any 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 member fields, it it performs a, a really important job, right? It, it deletes um, some some pointers, right? It, it deletes the the, the 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 memory, right? So that's so while we want to optimize for space. We do We of course want to. The, the inheritance gives us chance to uh, to, to call uh, to to get access to uh, to all of the member um, member functions that that this those empty classes define, right? So that's the that's the important part. So we don't want to um, use space, but we we want to access what they can they they, they can do for us. Um, Yes, and um, yes, we can also go to uh, yeah. So so we visited the, the, that that place for X memory with this with this um, uh, with this compressed pair, and um, we can also do the same for uh, for unique pointer for GCC. To be honest, I'm not sure if that's official GCC repository um, but hopefully this is uh, and yeah so if we go to line uh, 201 and, and uh, this is also this this is also defined yeah maybe it's it's created uh, it's it's it has a little a little bit different structure so for example there is this internal unique pointer impl object uh, class that 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 sort of delegates the 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 work but if we go to that line uh, then we can see that it actually stores a pointer and this deleter object in in terms of tuple. Uh, so it's uh, yeah so so it's it's actually quite interesting then that that at least for this implementation uh, tuple can o can also compress so if if uh, if uh, so potentially if your if if the the, the first one or the second type uh, passed into tuple is empty then then it can also also compress those those objects uh, or compress the space uh, yeah, so that's quite quite interesting, and yeah, and it's also interesting to see that the, the differences in the implementation. So, uh, if you, for example, um, cannot sleep well, uh, then it's it's quite 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 good to to actually uh, dig into code, and maybe after five minutes, you will you will sleep like a little baby. <laughs> so that's something. Um, instead of taking a pill. <laughs> um, okay, so. Um, 
So, yeah, so so this is more or less about about this 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 unique pointer. You no no um, no. Uh, so no unique address, uh, new attribute from from C plus plus twenty. So I hope that that it sort of converged and 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 um, so we went from from this property of unique pointer that if you have stateless deleter, then it actually won't take space, but it will do that will do the the the. the the, the specified job that, that that you want, so it will delete the the, the, the memory, or perform some extraction, uh, and this is done because of of this um, extra empty base class optimization. But in C plus plus twenty, we can leverage this new attribute, which simplifies this this technique uh, very so so hugely because there is no need to, to create complicated um, compressed pair helpers or whatever. Um, so I don't know, do, do you have any, any questions uh, in terms of that? Or maybe do, do you want to, to expand on this? Or maybe you have used this empty base class optimization for, for your types, library types, I guess. Now I wonder, is, is a class that is using this no unique address standard layout? Right now, right? So, yeah, so it, it's actually um, a question for, so for example, we can, we, we might expect that implementators can, uh, let's say, throw out this, this uh, uh, compressed pair object. Uh, so for example, Microsoft can throw out it and, and then and then implement unique pointer unique pointer in terms of this new new attribute um, but i wonder about uh, abi changes and and that kind of stuff so uh, so i guess that maybe for for um for existing Im implementation that's not the case but but yeah but maybe for new types that that can so for example boost might might, might do that and um, yeah, so, so it's quite. What I mean is, could we run a test on your compressed pair and mm -hmm. check whether it's standard layout for two empty classes? This one, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So check what? Check whether a compressed pair of two empties is a standard layout. Mm -hmm. It's not. Because no, it it's... is supposed to be a layout compatible with C, with C and, yeah, so... and it doesn't have it. Mm, okay, two A, two A. Yeah, so compressed pair of uh, two empty objects is is actually is actually two. So it it, it seems that it it requires. So it it cannot. So since they are empty, they it cannot compress uh, each 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 one. Um, but so we wrap think... this with with this uh, is currently not the first is... one because it's already tricky. But the second one where you have int and empty is standard layout, right? Yeah. At the bottom. So check the whole thing, or well, the first. I guess the first will maybe yes, because we've seen the sizes too. But there's also the second one where you have compressed pair of empty and int. Okay, empty and how it really changes things. Okay, but. It's 
trades or yeah, yeah. high trades yes yeah so it's one and we have fly out v Yeah, so it's so it's standard layout. Uh -huh, but you, you meant that it should that violate the <laughs> because it would not be layout compatible mm -hmm. with a struct of two uh, empty and int that doesn't use use this attribute. Why not? Well, okay. That, that would be compatible, I guess. Oh, well, because the uncompressed pair would have a different size than the compressed pair. So, how mm -hmm. could they be layout compatible? Oh, and you're, if you, in, no, you don't have to inverse. Yeah, that's. Okay. Yeah, but you that, have to that. specify the, 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 the same types. So, if you specify, if you have the same order, then then they should be the same. Yeah, but if C would put the one byte in there and C++ wouldn't, then this would create the incompatibility, right? Mm -hmm. So that, that could be the issue. Yeah, but that's why we have this requirement on, um, on so empty base class optimization since, since C++ 11, right? That it should happen. So uh, so maybe that's standard layout is supposed to be compatible with C. So it should mm -hmm. say that standard layout is false, maybe. Because it's compatible with a struct with an int, not with a struct with an empty and an int in mm -hmm. C. I don't know. Maybe it makes sense, but yeah. So I, I'm, new I cannot cannot really tell because quite quite low level but yeah but it's so maybe this is some some error that <laughs> that that should be reported <laughs> definitely it's worth a sequel <laughs> okay so can we continue or do you have questions uh, related to that Yeah, because I, I also wanted to, to briefly mention um, um, other attributes that, that, that we have uh, in, in C++, uh, so especially in modern C++. Uh, so, so you mentioned a few uh, that, that, you are, that you also use. So here is the, 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 the summary that of, of attributes that we have in C++ 11, uh, so since C++ 11 up to C++ 17. Um, so it's uh, no return, carries dependency. This is, um, um, actually, I don't know about, about this. This is um, quite quite specific uh, in terms of um, dependencies on, on, on the memory order. Um, but I don't know, have you, have you ever used this, this one? Yeah, I, I guess it's quite quite low level. Um, and sorry, I only know it has to do with mm -hmm. this memory order yes, relaxed. Yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. doesn't actually work as defined. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. Yeah, and, and, and then we have uh, deprecate. Yeah, and then uh, okay. So going also back to to no return. This is quite. Uh, interesting because it's uh, and Andre, you mentioned that that you use that and this is I guess used for functions uh, that is um, that really doesn't return to the caller, right? So like terminate, right? So those are quite special functions, not not something that you. So this is not a void function, <laughs> right? So so that's that's. So Andre, have you have you used that that one, right? For Yes, I often use it to silence compiler warnings. Mm -hmm. Okay. You, you, <laughs> because usually I have if something call my function Nate. Yeah, yeah. Or or I call function do throw do underscore throw underscore exception. 
exception, mm -hmm. but compiler doesn't. And it says, if I go this path and then this function doesn't return. Mm -hmm. So I annotate my function with no okay. return. And, and okay. Keeps the compiler happy. Yes. And also, um, maybe I should mention that 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 before. Um, so so basically, those attributes that that, that you can see here um, have this special uh, special sort of syntax. Uh, so this two open brackets and 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 two closing brackets. Um, but and, and they 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 sort of um, came from vendor specific uh, attributes. And so I I think that's so on, on my website there is there is attributes and maybe you 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 could even you, you can even see in your in your code that we we had a lot of various decal spec attributes or attribute underscore underscore attribute or visual studio and ms msvc used pragma attributes and pragma uh, syntax um, so it was a lot of actually pain to 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 use to use them in a multi-platform code, um, because you 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 might end up with um, let's say one for Visual Studio, one for GCC, and Clunk sort of supported this, so supported GCC attributes syntax, um, and um, yeah, and some some other vendors could could came with with different different uh, syntax, um, so. C plus plus eleven started to 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 sort of join and and, and bring those most popular attributes uh, into the into this the, into the standard right into the uh, into the C plus plus specification right so so you can now rather than rely on the on the vendor specific things you can you can just use uh, uh, those well defined attributes um, and if we go later then. Maybe this is more practical one. Uh, so, for example, deprecated and deprecated with with a reason. So this this they they came from C plus plus fourteen, um, and so you can you can for example if you have a function, um, and this is like let's say old function, and you have a newer version of this function, then you can mark this function with deprecated, and then. Uh, it will so compiler will 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 actually warn you about using this 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 um, this old function, and and the whole uh, reason we want to have attributes is to have annotations on on the code, right? So meaningful an annotations that can bring some extra information uh, not only to us as a readers but also to uh, to compiler right so so previously so for example with this one with deprecated you could uh, write a comment right so comments this is deprecated please please use this this another function but with with attributes uh, now uh, not on, so not only is it, it's more visible in, in code, but also the compiler can actually see that and understand what, what, what it means rather than just skip the comment uh, and also inform you about this particular uh, feature or particular issue. And then we have file through. So this is used for, uh, let's say, switch and, and, and case. If you, if you if you want to file through from one case to, to another, um, uh, and then we have no discard. Oh, mm -hmm. Okay. I, I cannot help but putting this remark here. There are two versions of deprecated: one with reason, and the other without reason. Mm -hmm. Experience, I claim that the one without reason is evil. Mm -hmm. Never make sense to call something <laughs> deprecated and mm -hmm. not to give hint to users what they are supposed to do instead. Yes, yes, yes. So, so this this first version should be deprecated, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Good, 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 good point. Uh, and then we have also this this thing with. Um, oh, actually, I I did it wrong here. So we have this no discards. Uh, from C++ 17, and then uh, in C++ 20, I actually missed that um, to delete. There is this no discard with a reason, so it should also be maybe possible 
uh, or, or actually uh, quite important to 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 mention uh, why this type or functionality or, or if you return something from the function why it should be used and, and no no not not discarded um, and then we have in c plus plus 17 we got also maybe unused uh, attributes so this is useful for let's say debug variables or or unused um, unused arguments that, that you have uh, in function um, and also okay in in c plus plus 20 uh, we have yeah this is what i mentioned so um, no discard with a reason um, and also no discard is applied in many places of of the standard uh, library we can we can maybe go go there and see um yes yeah, so so f and there is also a discussion whether something should be marked with no discard or not so for example functions like uh, async or launder or allocate um, and empty and should be uh, should be marked with no so no discard and and so for example if you use empty on on a, on a container uh, then you should you you should get and, and doesn't check the, the, the returned value then compiler should warn you about that the same goes for allocate so for example if you allocate the memory and then you just throw the results away then then it's it's obviously wrong and the same goes for async that that creates uh, few future objects um yes yeah, so so as you can see there is this let's say wording for async louder allocate operator new uh, or there's empty right so empty for basic string string view um yes and yes and for all for all uh, vector for for all con containers right yeah, so vector yeah. so that, that this this empty so empty member function will will, will get this no discard applied um can i give you an anecdote about this empty mm -hmm. every non-void const member function should be in some sense declared uh, no discard because why would you call it mm -hmm. yes Changing yes it. but empty is but that, then we would annotate every half of the standard library with no discard which is more or less pointless but empty mm -hmm. is special because prior to stl we had other competitor libraries like rugwave which also used member function empty to mean or make and which would mean make empty yeah because yes, empty like, is also like a verb here. yeah call empty in stl thinking that they are clearing the, the vector warning the additional warning helps detect a very common bug mm -hmm. yeah so even even um i guess it is it, also um, quite popular to get uh, static analyzers which checks which which check that empty uh, empty uh, so calls to, to to empty empty member functions they can also and i guess some examples where where they 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 actually also war war warned you about about that that, that, that use. so yeah this, so the same goes for uh, iterator yeah so yeah so it's actually quite interesting we can we can check whether that's um if i wanted another we can we have a f we have few minutes left so we can try that if that works so let's say that should work on on the vector right and uh, okay we have c plus plus 20 um And then, uh, okay, 
should at least have a name. <clears throat> and I wonder if that's if hmm, okay. Yeah, so as you can see, this is um, for a for comparison if uh, maybe C plus yeah. plus and fourteen then have to specify the type. <clears throat> yes, okay, so for example, in C14, uh, so even before that we, where, where we have, uh, where we had no discard attribute, then I called empty and as you can see, there are no warnings, but uh, I wonder if that's C17, maybe they, they even could implement that, yeah, so so they, they they even implemented it a, a bit earlier uh, or, um, or or actually allowed it even in the c plus plus 17 mode that uh, yeah that we we are basically ignoring the return value of of this empty call <laughs> uh, yeah so that, that's pretty nice uh, that's so and we have this even uh, uh, declaration that empty is now May, uh, specified as, as uh, okay, so it's no except. Uh, yeah, so it's it's allocated. It's it's declared with uh, with no discards. Yeah, so that's yeah, so that's so yeah, so so we are sort of uh, moving this this a little bit to um, so from static analyzer some some things that could be done in, in with with static analyzer now they are sort they they are part of of um, of um, of regular C plus plus compiler which is quite uh, quite nice <clears throat> um, okay and then. Um, yeah, so we have this no discard with with a reason, and then uh, likely and unlikely, um, and uh, uh, yeah. So for example, in 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 this case, um, it's actually pointless to uh, to so if so so this this function computes something computes something and and then returns. To the color and the re returns results to the color. So, so actually, this this call has has no 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 effect um, if I if I throw away the, the 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 result right and and I don't don't check anything anything later. Um, so so that's why it can compiler can can warn warn about such cases and maybe in most cases I meant uh, something like like that right. Maybe I wanted to clear vector rather than than check whether it's empty or not because of those naming conventions that that Andre uh, mentioned. And and another another thing is that if you if you have if you for example call allocate right and you want to allocate memory, then it's very important to actually store this re result of a memory allocation into into a pointer into a unique pointer. Uh, and and do something about that ra rather than discarding the, the the result completely. So this is this extra uh, message that that compiler can can detect and 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 and, and help us with with this code. There is a standard uh, way of disabling this warning. If you want to really call empty and discard the result for some reason, you you just cast the result to void. Um, and this is, every compiler should respect that. Yes. So it's not about uh, preventing you from discarding the value, but preventing you from doing it unconsciously. Something like that, right? And yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah, but my, my question was uh, because uh, there are many perhaps like, like this. So this is not the only one, yeah? So for example, uh, uh, well, you, you can say, okay, okay there, there is a function returning something like int main, and it is not uh, explicitly returning something here. Certainly for main, this is okay, but for other functions, it, it may be a big, big problem, yeah? But only for, for uh, not, uh, uh, for, for, for this discard, there is the, the, the attribute. So my, my point is that the attributes are not for all types of such potential traps that that was the the point not 
<laughs> not exactly about this this example. Yeah? Yes. So, for example, here is I have this this one. Uh, but I got it wrong. Yeah, so for example, you can, you can also have a type, uh, like let's say let's say this is an error type, uh, and and each every time you return this type from uh, from from some some function, then you will be warned uh, if if you actually missed um, uh, missed missed this one. Um, so um, yeah, so 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 you can so let's say for error codes that might be quite handy, right? And if you return an error code and someone skips the 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 the, the checking uh, the, the the check, then maybe it's it's, it's something wrong. Uh, uh, so assuming that this error code is is really important and and really conveys the message. So yeah, so this is something that we can get from. Uh, from um, uh, from compilers, but of course we have to learn how to how to use it. Uh, so f I guess that there is this, uh, uh, for example, uh, even print uh, returns something and and it, it returns some error code, I guess, or, or success failure, but no one actually will check that, right? <laughs> so that that would be quite harmful if we marked. Uh, print with with no discard, right? So because that would be so you you would see hundreds of of messages uh, after after compiling your code. Uh, so it's probably not not the best way. So yeah, so here is a discussion that about this 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 feature. Um, but um, I wanted to ask you about uh, let's say this likely and unlikely. Uh, so those are new attributes that uh, that are also standardized form of of, of attributes that you can that, that you could use uh, in in GCC and and Clang. Um, I guess that Microsoft didn't had did, didn't have any any corresponding attributes for that. Um, but likely and un unlikely. So it means that if you have a if you have a um, uh, if you have a branch. In your code, then you can mark it with likely on, or make, or maybe mark else statement with unlikely, and then the compiler or, or branch predictor can 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 sort of use that that information to to generate a bit better code. Uh, and for example, in the in the in the paper in the proposal of this feature, there is uh, there is a. Um, there is a, a simple application that that, for example, um, a cl clam clamping of um, of of values. So if 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 you get a value less than, let's say, sixty five thousand, um, then then you then you return this the same value. But if if the value is larger than than 6500, so let's say, then then you clamp it to the maximum value. So it's sort of like a max uh, function. Um, and uh, not not max, but but yeah. So so this is clamp. And um, and and then um, the author mentioned that if if he used uh, he, if he used this likely attribute and also got um, like 99% of, of test uh, cases which were falling into this into this range, uh, into this zero to 65,000 range, then the applying likely <clears throat> caused the code to run Let's say so. We, he mentioned like maybe one percent or or one one and a half percent faster than without applying the, the, this this attribute. <clears throat> and also, yeah. So there is a small but but still maybe one percent or even less percent chance that 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 you that optimizer can 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 write a bit faster code. For example, <clears throat> it can reorder reorder instructions so that um, 
those instructions won't be thrown away if the if the if the branch is is is, uh, is successful, right? Or or if the if the branch is not successful, um, <clears throat> so it can reorder the, the code so that the uh, that um, we don't throw this uh, more most likely code path. Um, yeah, so it's also a question to you. So have you used this 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 attribute, and can you confirm that? Uh, this really brings some performance or this is not that easy? I guess that this might be oh, very possible with, with, uh, with embedded development, maybe. Maybe embedded, but maybe like some high performance computing. Uh, so what, what, is, mm -hmm. what it usually does, it's, so the likely path, uh, so no matter if you might mark use unlikely or likely, there, there will be some likely mm -hmm. path and likely path doesn't require jump. Uh, so mm -hmm. it's like kind of streamlined, and this is it. It, it causes what you said that uh, <clears throat> yeah, that speculative execution of the of the code works better in this case. Uh, it, it's good, for example, for for checking for for like error checking in like tight loops or stuff like that. So something that will almost never happen, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and and you want to, your code to to execute as, as okay, few so, jumps so, so. as possible. So basically, the, the instructions will be that, for example, for likely path, the instructions will be um, so the instructions for the uh, likely path will come first, and then there will be instructions for unlikely, um, and at the end, uh, and then the jump, right? For so if we go into this likely path, then we just execute the instructions. And then, uh, for unlikely, there is this extra jump that that can happen, right? Kind of. So there, usually there is like some kind of checking of the of the of the flags from the from mm -hmm. the previous if or or some logical operation. Uh, and the, there are two, two two choices: either either you will jump to some to some label or to some place space, or you you will not jump. So likely case will be the the one that will not jump. That will just execute next yeah, okay. instruction. Yes. 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 Because in, in in the case of of, uh, of jumping, then there is a chance that you will actually uh, execute several instructions after this after this jump instruction, right? And so like a speculative execution, right? And, and then you may so still then, do that. I mean, the, the CPU can decide anyway to do that because of the branch predictor and stuff like that. Yes, but yes. this this makes it easier for, for this, this makes mm -hmm. it easier to 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 select. So there is no point if if, this, if the ratio is like like I don't know two to one or three to one or something like that. It's only for really 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 unlikely scenarios or likely scenarios. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, My experience is that it is likely that this attribute actually pessimizes your code. It tells the branch predictor to shut down and to trust your judgment. No, it doesn't. It doesn't tell. It doesn't tell anything to branch predictor. The branch predictor doesn't know that there was anything like it, like it. Yeah. So branch predictor is sort of di dynamic, right? Because it it it's, it, it runs um, based on the on the execution of your program. But but here we are talking just about creating the generating the instructions, right? So reordering instructions so that this this code path is is, is sort of better or something like that. So it's and so more. It, you make some assumptions, like the clamp example. I I actually found it bad because you are writing a function and you don't know what the inputs to the function will be. If someone is using clamp because it's very often that the values get out of range, then applying unlikely but, but exactly or likely is... just makes the code worse. You have to be Certain, be in control of the entire code to know, uh, to know. Example, optimizing. For example, anything. assume that you, as implementer, have some special knowledge about your inputs. That uh, yeah, to use so It's a very special case. It also, it doesn't sense. pessimize that very much. I mean, the compiler would have to decide anyway that one case is li likely and one is unlikely. I mean, the layout will so so the layout it will be the same for the if. So there is like flag, there is check, and either you jump or you, you continue execution. And no matter if you use likely or unlikely, likely and, and unlikely just helps decide what which case is more likely. Compiler would 
decide it anyway, and the output assembly code will be the same. So, so it doesn't pessimize it very well. I mean, you can you can shoot yourself in the foot if you do something really bad, but usually it's not that. And let yeah, so 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 here, here I have this this this, ex this example is, is also yeah so our author specific so specifically means that that so that 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 Andre you 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 described that if you actually create your your likely path to be unlikely and then, then you will pessimize the code right so that's the so that's that should be really really carefully uh, applied right and and, and not um, so not for and, all and of the, the code plays. Uh, sad thing happens when there is direct connection between the external input likely and unlikely attribute like if i put a likely that all that i'm receiving is correct then i'm shooting myself in the foot because i i allow the hackers to to just uh, patient by sending invalid inputs and then uh, selecting the pessimized path mm, yes but that mm. that should be solved by this by this uh, speculative execution uh, fixes right specter so that's sort of um, Ort orthogonal, I guess. But also, compiler might decide that this case. So, mm -hmm. so compiler often might decide, looking on the layout of the code or whatever, that this case is unlikely. I mean, always one case, one always when when creating branch, one is likely, and one is one is kind of likely, and one is kind of unlikely. The assembly code mm -hmm. always looks the same. It's just deciding which one is which. So it's not pessimizing against. Like, it's there are there are two well, cases. So it's because not... sometimes the compiler, the uh, compiler may decide to e evaluate both paths at once. I mean, to evaluate both of them, and then at some point when you when when we get the result of if, just to select one and discard the other. No. Out. So compiler, no, no, compiler cannot do. do that. Yeah. So compiler yeah. can just generate code, and there is no. There is a there is a rare examples of code where. If and else case are executed up up to the point where they have some side effect. Mm -hmm. Don't have side effect. You can evaluate it. The both it's because CPU, not the compiler, right? Compiler only generates some branches. Yeah, compiler generates linear, completely linear code. I mean, I I don't know how it's, that would look like, kind of interleaved code or something. Maybe what you are saying is like speculative execution from the CPU. So it can, it yes, it can, it can execute both path branches, mm -hmm. but th that still doesn't matter with what order are the are those. So it will usually execute speculatively likely branch. So the branch that is uh, that doesn't require jump. So there is more higher chance of doing that. But mm -hmm. it's but it can also <laughs> like remember the previous uh, so. It can sort of remember how often the this the selected path was chosen and execute speculatively the the one that, that, is, that was chosen more, more more often. But this is on the CPU level, not the not the compiler. Yes, but 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 so so in general those instructions uh, so they they are they they they, they were in terms of uh, so specified in terms of uh, custom syntax for GCC. Uh, so they are now simply brought into the into the standard right so um so that's why uh, yeah so we will have more maybe more applications of that but still it's very very um it's very tricky to use right so if you if you fail uh, and and this likely path is not that likely then then you can actually spoil your performance right so it's so it's yeah. so as as always with this with those kinds of things uh, it's always good to measure measure and and, and measure <laughs> It, it is, and also it's like quite narrow use case. I mean, this is like for yeah. really, really very tight loops, stuff like that. Yeah. <clears throat> um, okay. So, um, so it's almost we 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 ended up uh, and um, as a summary. So we 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 covered. So so hopefully I um, I, I was able to to. 
to to transfer this 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 this, this message correctly that um, that that basically with 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 C plus plus attributes uh, with modern C plus plus attributes we have a standardized way to um, to to mark and and annotate things uh, in 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 our in 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 our code to 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 um, to also not only to show other programmers what 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 the code does but also a compiler can can use this knowledge and generate better code or or generate warnings or or another or or extra messages uh, or as we can as we as we saw with this example of empty based class optimization it can hugely uh, simplify code right because uh, empty based class optimization required you to to use some kind of a compressed pair um, template um, a little magic uh, where you sometimes inherit from em from empty base class rather than storing it as a, as a regular member field but now it's it's just a matter of of, of using or of, of marking this potential member field with with this no unique address property um, yeah, and then hopefully we will see more and more uses of uh, of, of modern C++ attributes in, in, in our code. So, for example, uh, in C++ 20, we have this um, C++ no discard marked, uh, no discard attributes marked on, on many places in the, in the standard library. Um, so I, I, I guess that the, the main reason for that was, so no discard is quite popular attribute, but, um, and there was a plan um uh, very very soon after the introduction of no discard into C17 to to also mark uh, standard library types standard library functions and types but it simply didn't uh, make into C17 because there was no no time for that but it uh, it, it it got it managed uh, to 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 get into into C20 um so I don't know. Do you have any any questions or? Yeah, be, be, before that, I I have a little little announcement uh, because um, I, I I also have this book and this book originated from uh, from our uh, so actually from from Tomek's uh, presentation last year about lambdas. So so it's um, it's uh, so Tomek shared like a story of lambda, so evolution of lambda, lambda expression, uh, and then I sort of s s stole that 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 knowledge, <laughs> and 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 uh, with with Tomek's permission, and and packed that into into two blog articles. Then I packed that into into a, a book, um, a, a free PDF. But then I sort of decided to 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 push that idea and and expanded this this book uh, heavily. Um, so right now it's almost 100 pages, uh, and I have another 40 pages waiting for next update. So this was this was it. I, I hope that you learned something, and hopefully we can meet again. <laughs>